Hey guys, so uh, I'm actually not white or female. Did you guys see that Donald Trump thing today? I just saw this where he's talking about Obama finally released his birth certificate. Oh, Anyone? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What the fuck is up with that? I can't even believe that Donald Trump is like possibly a Republican presidential candidate. Like in these times of fucking uncertain employment and economic turmoil, like this motherfucker who's been firing people for like six years, like you're fucked. He loves doing that shit. Yeah, put him in office. That sounds good. Um, oh, I had a Gen Ed this semester, and I'm glad it's over because I will never take another science class again. But uh, it made me realize scientists do not get enough respect because. If you come up with something, you get to name it. If you discover a dinosaur, you get to name it. And yet we still have shit like Triceratops and what are the other ones? Anyone? Who's, what's your favorite dinosaur? Stegosaurus. That dude fucking hates Stegosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> um, Velociraptor. Yeah, no, he's not going to stay from T-Rex either. That's it. It's all about the Velociraptor. Um, yeah, if I found a dinosaur, there'd be fucking Marcellosauruses in the Natural <laughs> History Museum. Like, I can tell you that without a fact. Like, I would... Do that. Uh, <clears throat> let me check out my notes. I'm drunk. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not really a senior either, so there's no excuse for that. Um, oh, this is more of a note to myself, but I think I'm pretty good at sex. Um, that's that, that's kind of a compliment, but it's it's more the fact that like every time I find myself in that situation, I literally go into it thinking, "This is the last time you're gonna have sex." Like, give it your give it your all. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me once, Marcelo. It's not gonna, it's not gonna happen again. Uh, <clears throat> but enough about my sex life. That was about it anyway. Uh, but uh, my roommate was playing uh, the Bee Gees today, which is kind of funny. It sounds like it's a gay confessional story, but um, no, he just likes the Bee Gees. So that's cool. They have great. Are you guys having a good time? Or? Yes. Um, anyway, uh, the Bee Gees, if you guys know you, I know this is kind of an older crowd, so... Yeah. I like the Bee Gees! Uh, I'm a big fan as well, like, but when I was 10, like, I really liked them. And I was telling my friend that, and I was like, I'm surprised my parents didn't think I was gay. Uh, my parents did think I was gay, but, like, much later. I mean, like, at 10, I'm surprised they didn't think I was gay. And my friend got mad at me, and she's like, oh, just because you like the Bee Gees doesn't mean that you're fucking gay, like, that's insulting. And I was like, you know, calm down. One, I'm joking. Uh, and two, like, if you listen to the Bee Gees at 10, you're obviously gay. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm not saying my parents would have sent me to, like, gay boot camp or anything. They just would have been like, oh, well, you know, he's, he's a gay kid. Like, you know, we have a gay kid. But, uh, you know, they're not homophobic at all, my parents. And I'm not gay, so I don't even know what I'm talking about that. But, uh... I, I just don't understand homophobia, like, as a straight male, like, who wants to live in a world without gay people? Like, all my life I keep hearing, like, oh, the best guys are fucking gay, or like, they're always gay, or some variation of, like, I wish that this gay guy could fuck me and wanted to fuck me, um, and I don't want to live in a world where, like, these guys who have 3% body fat and actually comprehend women and have pretty good diets, um, and actually really like to dance. Like, they actually do want to have sex with women. Like, I can't compete with that. Um, I would be fucked. Or, I wouldn't be fucked. That's yes. <laughs> the point of that, I guess. Uh, what I'm saying. Anyway, um, I lost some money this week. It wasn't cool. Um, it's already broke. It's like the end of semester. It was at, I was at a buddy's house on 36, and uh, I got, you know, long story. I'm not even gonna say the end. Uh, it's pretty sad. I got fucking broke because I got mugged. Like, I'm fucking broke as shit now because of my own stupid ass. And no, don't just don't walk around here at 2 a.m. I just want to park that for anything because you will get mugged. And it fucking sucks. I was drunk as shit. I'm walking home and I hear right behind me, like. <laughs> and I'm fucking terrified as a single white female. You know, God. You know, <laughs> It's like 2 a.m., uh, what the fuck am I doing by myself? And so I turn around to see my would-be assailants, and they are African-American. So running this out of the question, I, I even have my Nikes on, but and it's funny, because like, had it been any Latino, I'd have been like, alright, let the hunt begin. So I, 
tries to get away, um, but any black person, like it could have been Tyler Perry's Medea, and I still would have been like stuck in place, like not even attempted to run, and just cannot beat her. Uh, but you know, I was waiting there, like for my ultimate bugging, and thinking like, how can I get out of this? Like, I'm fairly charismatic. My ex-girlfriends at one point said I was charismatic and a good person. Uh, you know, I can do something about this. And I'm trying to think, black guys, Latino, like hands across America, where do our two cultures meet if there was a Venn diagram? Uh, and I came up with it, Scarface. Which makes sense, because there's so many black people in that movie, like Al Pacino, the first black Oscar winner. Um, but, you know, I was getting there, just waiting, waiting for this moment, I guess, in my life to shine and break the culture barrier. And so I'm waiting there with my best uh, impression, ready to do it, because I am, you know, a small theater student. I'm a student of the arts, I guess. Uh, I don't know why I'm so dramatic there. Uh, but anyway, so I was getting ready, and I'm getting in place, ready to break down these walls, they're coming up, and I'm like, say hello to my li And they mug me. Uh, that, that story ends. Anyway, thank you guys, I'm done. Alright guys, my name's Daryl Rose there. Uh, next up we have Ruth Smith. Woo!